Yep. Hi, I'm Jeremy Albrecht, volunteer and board member. And I'm Katie Greaser, volunteer trainer here at Shy Wolf Sanctuary. And this is hurricane season. Located in Naples, Florida, hurricane preparedness is always on our mind, especially during the months of June through no November. Shy Wolf Sanctuary has weathered many of these storms over the years, most recently Hurricane Irma, who made landfall in our area around September of 2017. So the question that we are always asked is, what do you do to ensure that your animals in the facility are going to be safe during a hurricane? One of the unique features in our sanctuary is that we sort of put the fences up and then let nature take it back. So because of that, we get naturally fortified by all the vineage that has grown in, like what you see above me here. Unfortunately, the leaves that come with the vineage also create a very special sort of challenge for us. When it comes to our chain link fence, uh, we allow, that allows a lot of wind to come through during a hurricane. Uh, but when we have a lot of leaves, as you see back here, uh, that tends to block the wind from passing through, which isn't the best case scenario in a hurricane. So we remove what we have to, but not until a hurricane is imminent, as the greenery provides both shelter and enrichment for our animals. Now, the enclosures furthest here in the back have a special feature to help prevent wind damage. In these enclosures, we have a cable system that attaches to several points at the top of the fence and then anchors in the ground in order to keep the uh, fences from collapsing outward. In addition to prepping the enclosures, we also prep all of the buildings on property as well. Anything left outside can become a projectile, so we take all of our cleaning utensils and pooper scoopers and bring them inside to the storage sheds. We make sure that we secure down all of our benches and all of our tables and anything else that we need to secure off of our deck. So that's what we do to prepare the sanctuary itself. But how do we make sure that the animals are safe when the hurricane arrives? The short answer is they stay in their enclosures. Many, many facilities deal with this and they all deal with it in one standard practice and that's that the animals generally stay in their enclosures. It doesn't matter if you're the largest, most accredited zoo or you're a sanctuary that started in a backyard like us. We do make special arrangements for our more um, smaller, fragile animals. A good example of this is this very famous photo of flamingos being sheltered in a public bathroom in Hurricane Andrew at the Miami Zoo. So the long answer is, we do whatever it takes and use whatever resources are at our disposal to make sure that all the animals make it through the storm safely. Animals such as our prairie dogs, our foxes, our raccoons, our kinkachu, they're going to be uh, generally kettled and we would keep them inside the house. Although our animals do stay on site, they're not alone. We have a subset of volunteers that stay here through the storm, periodically checking all the fences to make sure everything's staying up and we don't have to take any emergency measures. Were you here for the hurricane? No. Me neither. Too scary. Too scary. It's like Wolf NATO around here. <laughs> so, how did the strategy work? The answer is it worked well. We had no animal losses or escapes, and that's the most important thing. We did, however, have a lot of tree and fence damage, which totaled in about $30,000. And that's where two incredible groups of people stepped up for us. Our volunteers and you, our supporters. A capital campaign after the hurricane helped cover the costs, and we have you to thank for that. It took thousands of volunteer hours to clear all the refuse that covered the sanctuary. Some of the people that volunteered had never volunteered for us before and specifically came to help us with that. And for that, we thank you. If you have any questions that maybe we didn't answer, please leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer it. Thank you for watching and thank you for your continued support. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Katie. And we wish you the very best and safest hurricane season from Shy Wolf Sanctuary.